right, getting ready to do box number 10. This will be our saving grace if there is any. Yes, the box has been pretty horrible. There's been a couple nice uh, jerseys as far as, you know, color selection. The player selection's been horrible. The player selection's been pretty horrible on all the autos, except that Johansson wasn't too bad. But the one out of the case, you'd hope it'd be a little bit better. Especially for the guy drafting first, which is going to be a uh, Sean. And I don't see any uh, of these guys being PCs for him. So we got base. But still, with the number six and number seven pick back to back, I'll get something really nice out of the first half. And what do we have? We have uh, auto. And it's a different type of auto. 75th season anniversary, Michelin Move. Like to see one of those like Terry Sawchuck or something like that pop up. I think we've had a good price before, but nothing major. And we hit Jay Beagle, which we already hit once. So one of our autos is gone. Feels like it might be a jersey here. It's a jumbo jersey black. And who is it? Another net prospect, Jacob Markstrom. Not a bad hit, but to have a jersey black, nothing special. And it's a plain old swatch, so that not good in my opinion. And what do we have here? Steve Kratchek, we hit that earlier. So, so we're looking at one more auto. One more jersey pretty much guaranteed. And base it is. And as you can always tell, you pretty much know when you're going to get that jersey, especially if it's a multicolor with a seam in there. And what do we have here? Got an auto. Ryan Omar. There we go. That's for the Edmonton Oilers or something. And not sure who the Oklahoma Barons affiliate is. But. So we got two autos, one jersey. And there's a player H at the number one selection. Doubt that's going to happen, but. Again, if any of those are hits, they're big hits for a jersey out of 10. Depending on the player, it can be huge. If one person did have one come and all the case breaks, I think we've done about three of these, three 10 boxes, and had one of those come true in base. Feels like a jersey here, nothing special. But let's see, it's the number black. Let's see who is it going to be. It's going to be our big hit, maybe. Scott Glenny. Oh, boy. Three color. Number black auto. That's just Bell Berry might be. The big hit out of this one. And we still got... And there's a jersey black. Let's see who it is. Two colors. Michael Bornable. And base. So that's going to wrap it up, unless there's an auto in here. You already hit three when you consider the number auto black. And, yep. So this is box 10, with a little bit of saving grace. So, with these, we have the Ryan Omar, the Mitch Lemu, I like his number on there. Scott Glenny, three color. Of course, it could be well centered, number and auto black. Mike Bourneville, jersey black. Jumbo jersey of Jacob Markstrom. Not too bad of a prospect, but again, playing one color. Player H, which is actually number one. 
Steve Kratchik, and Jay Beagle. So that's box 10, and that yields the hit of the second half, which is less than desirable. No screaming around in the many beautiful pieces, but there was a couple of nice with Jay Epperub and uh, Philip Grover, three colors and stuff like that, but definitely lacking in star power on the autograph besides the Johansson. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, check out Steel Co City Collectibles if you want any in the game product. It usually has pretty good selection. So, give me a holler if you have any questions or you want to do a group break. Probably be looking at maybe between the pipe 10, 11, next, next group break. Thanks.